okay guys it's me again and in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create a windows 10 windows 11 windows 8 windows 7 bootable usb in your mac so and we are not going to use the boot camp but i'm going to show you how you can create a bootable usb for windows so first of all you need to have install homebrew on your machine and i'll put a leave i'll leave a link in the description below you can get this one also we'll need the wimlib so these two softwares will need them so if i open my terminal and then go to brew dot you can see my homebrew version is four point one point one five so also to install wimlib you need to just you can just come here and search for wimlib and this one here you can just use this command to install wimlib on your uh, system so if i just paste it there but I've already installed it, but you can see it's supported until Sonoma, so that's good. So the next thing, you need to have a flash drive and the Windows image. So right here I have the Windows 11, and I'm going to mount this one so just mount it and the next thing you need to format our flash drive so just come to disk utility and then let's format our our usb i'll call it win and then I'm gonna you need to format it to MDOS FAT and you need to choose master boot record. Remember that master not GUID partition but master boot record and then erase. Okay, so with that one done we have here our image that is being mounted and our USB so let me open our terminal and you can see here it says my wimlib is already installed so that's good news so what we need to do we need to open let's open this one and also open the flash drive so we need to copy all this let me just copy all the other file ex except for the sources folder just drag it there on the next step you're going to copy we're going i'm going to show you how you can copy the sources folder so let's wait for this one to right so the next thing let's create a new folder on the usb let's call it sources okay and then we need to open our sources folder from our windows 11 and then open this one also so you can see we have a lot of stuff right here but there is one file which is very big so we'll need to split it into two so that's where wimlib is going to come in and that is this install.yim which is 5.6 gigs so what you need to do we need to copy everything 
except for this file so just shift or is it shift a or control a and then come down and then while holding the command key or control key just uncheck this one and then drag this one over here Okay guys so it has done with copying the files the sources folder file except this one this install WIM so the next thing we're going to do is going to use the WIMLib so that we can copy and split that file into two so I've I've just right here I've I'll leave this in the description below where you can just use it use it so in this command you need to as you can see this is wimlib image x split so it split the volume make sure you copy the name of your volume correctly so mine is cpra x64 fre f r e e n u s d v5 so this is so this is the volume that I need the uh, the Wimlib to split the file. So and then I need to go to I need it to go to the sources folder and install dot wim and it should split it to volumes that is the win I've named it win but you can change here to the one that you have called your flash drive. And then it should go to the sources of the flash drive and then install dot swm and it should split it to into four gigs so let me just copy this one and then open my terminal and then paste it so just hit enter and as you can see here the message it says it is splitting this 5508 mbs so we are on the part one right here it says part one of the part two which this one it says it's going to split it into two parts so let's wait for it so that we can see how it goes
Okay, folks. So as you can see here, it says it has finished with the splitting, and let's see. Let's open our USB drive and then go to sources, and you can see right here we have to install SWM file and the 1 GB and also the 4.2 so the Wimlib application split this file into two so that it can can be able to to be copied to this USB so now this flash drive is able to boot that Windows 11 from from here everything works just perfectly so you need to just eject this one and our USB is ready and that's it for this video guys I'm just going to show you how you can create your Windows USB from a Mac so that is for this video guys please don't forget to subscribe to the channel share like and I'll see you in the next one peace